Welcome back to Dirt to Daytona, folks. Today we've got Darlington Raceway. You know I love Darlington, so I'm looking forward to this race and to continue our win streak. That would be fantastic. Let's get out there, do a little bit of practice, and we'll see you right before qualifying. I didn't practice. All right, here we go down the front stretch. Qualifying lap underway. Oh, we went high there, so that's going to definitely cost us. We're driving in pretty deep here. Ooh, that was almost too well. That's not good. All right. Hey, sometimes, folks, we like to bring it from the back to the front to make things more challenging for us in a race. All right. That's not why I didn't mean to do that, but that's what's going to happen now. We'll finish out the qualifying lap, and we will be at the back of the pack. All right, let's see where That'll be going. a lot of fun. There you have it. So it's going to be really challenging, considering there is less than a second between last place and first place. Love it. Love the challenge. Let's get out there and put together a strong effort. Drive this number 151 Toyota Camry to the front and get ourselves another victory. Welcome to NASCAR's oldest super speedway, Darlington Raceway in South Carolina. I'm Alan Bestwick, the lady in black, the granddaddy of them all. Call it what you will, but Darlington is always one thing, a challenge. This unique mile and a third egg-shaped oval has well earned the nickname, the track too tough to tame. It's set. The race is going green. There's a green flag. We're just going to do what we do. Um... Kind of chill out back here for a little bit. We've got 184 laps. This is a very long race. 28 in the tank. No reason to be crazy out here. No reason to do anything stupid. We're just going to ride it out. Let these cars kind of fan out a little bit as everyone's still pretty much side by side. Unless we can get some good runs on the inside. We might be able to make some spots early here, actually. Let's see. Next to John Wood. Just want to run Clear with them, eye. but also keep it pretty cautious. I'm not so concerned about turn one and two. It's three and four where we get a little Still there. nervous. A lot of cars hitting their brakes hard. There we go. Car is really touchy. Not really what I want to be dealing with right now, but we'll figure it out. Things are spreading out a bit now. Got a few back here that are side by side. That's why we want to get in front of them. But all clear, car low. It's got a slight, I think, just a little bit of contact with uh, Daly. Ooh. This is one of those nerve-wracking points. Whoa, that was very scary for us. Back up on track. We're okay. Clear high. Something I noticed, actually, uh, with NASCAR E5 and maybe you guys, I have a T300 base. Uh, with the Ferrari rim. Let me know if you guys have had this in NASCAR Heat 5 at all. I have what I... It's kind of like the death wobble when I'm going straight down. Down the straightaways, the car, and it doesn't happen with other games, so it's not the rim or the wheel or the base, but it, uh, it shakes left and right. And if I'm not holding onto the base tight, even when I turn down the strength of the um, force feedback and all of that it just that starts to lap. shake left and right pretty hardcore so not really sure what to make of Still that there. but if anybody knows anything about that it's the Thrustmaster T300 base I don't think the rim matters at all Still there. but uh, if you know anything I can do to hopefully fix that that'd be greatly all appreciated clear, clear leave high. me a comment down in well, the comments, obviously. Let me know uh, what you've done potentially to resolve that issue. 
I'm able to do. I am able to drive with it that way. It's just when you're going down the straight, it, there's no. Uh, I have to hang on, and I have Hello to be there. watching it every time. You're like I can't. It's not natural. Like right now, I'm just driving straight down the track, but I'm doing it with that. That's it's not a natural feeling. So anyway. Through Mike and Steve here. Kind of behind Clear Chrissy. Not couldn't All do anything clear. about it, Chris. Our if move. I touched my brakes, I was getting run into. Clear high. Check on our wheels. We're fine. Other Clear than that, there. though, I've run a few Clear different uh, tests out on that game. And I am able Clear to low. drive, like I said. I'm able to drive it that way but you'll see it if I can't figure it out you'll see it on the uh, in the recordings the front end just kind of goes back and forth real fast when I'm on a straightaway it's almost like there's a loose part not on the wheel it just I don't know I can't explain it but When I check everything itself to see if the, it is the wheel attached to the base because it's got that screw on the bottom that tightens the wheel down, it's not. That's not the problem. So I don't really know what to say. We moved up a number of spots, almost 20 to be exact. So that part's good. And we've done it in only eight laps. So we're moving our way right up through the pack. Things are a lot more calm now that we've gotten through the crowd that we've gotten through. Neat to see a triple-digit car up here and all these double-digit cars right in front of us that he's kind of separated from the pack. Oh, we put down a 29.325. I think we have 28. Right? Oh, no, 29.162 is our best ever. So we definitely have the ability with this car, with this track, to get up to the front and uh, run real well. So that's what... Obviously, that's what we're doing right now as we get up to the next pack of cars and start to work on them only had a couple tense moments while doing this Still there. Clear high. You're all clear. I didn't want to tap on the brakes there when I went into the corner although I could have I just didn't know what Mike Skinner was going to do so I didn't really want to worry about having him come up on me and hit me me lose it because that's, you know, not what we want to deal with. We've got three wide going down the front stretch. We're going to back out of this until it sorts itself out. I don't really want to be a part of that. There we go. Let's see if I can get a good run on Grader here. There we go. Side by side going down the back stretch. I'm going to push it into this corner and then get on the brakes. Ride it up a little bit. A little too much. We were getting pushed there, but that's okay. Elliot hit us and then ends up running into the wall. That was interesting. It's again doing what we can do to get these positions. You know, that pack back there, you had to do just a little bit more. We're doing pretty all right here. We're going to go to the outside this time. Just not able to get there. All right, we'll go back down on the inside. We're not overpowered like we used to be in comparison to the other cars. It's all right, though. Ooh, that was bad. Yep, that was bad. What? Why? I barely touched the dude. Of course. I barely touched him. And he ends up sliding up into the track, putting us in the wall. We drop back a number of spots. And now we're really tight. All right. Oh, well, we got 15 left in the tank, so we're going to speed it up because we've got a tight front left, so I don't know if we're going to make it up any more than we already have. We'll be back on the mic with you when we're pitting for the first time.
Car high. There's a spin in turn two. Car high. There's a wreck in turn two. The yellow's out. Well, we'll be pitting under this caution because we are so damaged, we started to lose a lot of spots. All clear. All clear. So, what do we have left anyway? Just nine in the tank. No big deal. We're going to pit. Uh, we're going to fix up, and we'll be back on the track with you after this caution. Get Hold on for one moment, please, green. folks. There's the green flag. Obviously, be pit. We're back in 36 now, but it's no big deal. A lot of cars did not pit. We had to pit because of our damage to our car. Um, honestly, at this point, we're only 7.6 positions back from where we are. We're at the end of the or at the caution anyway, so it's just no big deal. We need to. I mean, I know cars are going to be pitting in the next handful of laps, but I'm still going to drive. Still going to drive it out. The faster we can get in front of some of these triple-digit cars, the better off we'll be overall. We're all right. I felt it. I felt this come back up all right. I don't like uh, Robbie Gordon is really he is challenging me quite a bit here. I, I, I got caught on him. Oh, we're okay. Now we had to slow way down for the triple digits, and he's on my inside. So we're gonna we're not gonna battle him this early in the race. He can go. We'll get to him again. It's just not worth it. He did pit with us though. He's not faster than us. I'm just driving like a moron. We'll get it back. I can get it back right now. There we go. I knew we'd get it back, but I do want to put some separation between me and him. And by separation, I mean cars, not time. Well, I guess it's synonymous. We, we do both, folks. We separates with the time but also by putting cars between us so that he's not just right up on my bumper still there clear high you're all clear car low not enough room there whoa see that's what i don't like i i just barely got off of the um stick and that happened that was crazy that was not what i enjoy Get inside there. See if I can get a run off. Or is Henson going to live inside? Nope, he didn't. Okay. Well, we'll get hit the spot from him, but we're not going to get it from Still there. Atwood. All clear. I had to get on the brakes not to run into his corner when we came back down. You know, as wide as this track looks, and it is, but as wide as it looks, there's still... If there's too wide, it's it's really hard to get around them because of how equally matched we are. And when I do something stupid like that, oh, here they all go. Here they all go. We're off schedule because we had to pit. If that caution came out, and the good thing was we didn't bring out the caution, but if that caution had come out and uh, we weren't damaged, we probably would have stayed out. We're about 10 or so laps short compared to them. But as it stands right now, this is going to be a big deal for us. As we move up into, uh, what, third place probably? Yep, third place. That Gordon and probably Junior up there maybe. I'm not positive, but I see red and black, so I assume it is. Oh, it's Ricky Rudd. I can just look at the freaking standings leaderboard relative screen. 
They did not pit, so I don't know how they're still out. They absolutely did not pit, or they would have been back there with us. They've got to be pitting pretty quick here. Yeah, of course, we're going to put down a fantastic lap when we're not in a pack with a whole group of cars fighting them for any kind of inch, tooth, and nail. Wow, how are they not pitting yet? That was the only caution that came out, and I'm 100% sure that they did not pit under that caution. So I do not know how these two cars are not out. Oh, there goes. Yep, there they go. So they went like two full laps more than everybody else could. That's crazy. All right. Oh, we're in the lead. Only by... Only because we pit off schedule due to a caution. We should have, what, 20 left in the tank? 17 left in the tank. So it's going to be back and forth probably, but we have a lot of laps to go. We still have 145 laps to go. Or is that 135? Might have been 135. But you get my point. We have a lot of laps to go. And, uh... A lot of pit stops to go. Yeah, 145, I was right. So, yep, we're uh, <laughs> we're barely into this one. And you can see Robbie Gordon, Steve Park, Ward Burton were the three that pit with us, I guess. Considering they're the only three that are still in the lead lap. And what we can do here is put a big, as big a gap as possible. So when we do pit, we come out in the lead. I mean, that would be the best possible scenario for us. Or the other best possible scenario, another caution comes out. As long as we're not causing cautions, I don't feel bad about pitting under them. Out. Holy crap. I, wow. All right. Well, guess what? Space cars out. I'd be a fool not to pit, but we will. We'll be back with you after this caution. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Car there we low. go. We pit, so we're not in first place right now, but we're only in fourth, so it would have been foolish not to pit. Car low. We're here to win, obviously. The run is outside this whole time. Car low. Little contact, no big deal. Little contact, no big deal. Get it together. You're fine. He's fine. He got it. I'm not. It's all good. <laughs> I'm not going to mess around with that. I've got goals of winning this race, not messing around with somebody. is now a lap down. Mark Martin is who we're aiming for. Tony Stewart got a good run though there, so we'll see how that goes. See if we can get to the inside of Martin here. Get a nice run through. And Mark Martin is now a lap down as well. There we go. For now. <laughs> that was a little close. Clear high. If I can hang on to it here. He might get a good run coming out of here if I don't get on the gas. There we go. We got it. Now the goal is just to put separation between us and the pack behind us. 24 in the tank. We didn't really have much of a speed up earlier. It was only a couple less because of the caution. But why don't we do that right now? And we'll be back on the mic with you after this run. We've got a lot of them, so we're going to have a number of speed ups here, especially when we're in front of everybody and there's nothing going on. We'll be back, like I said, though, after uh, or when we're going into the pit for the next time.
comes out. Caution comes out. We had just two laps left in our gas tank. Number of lead lap cars have not pit yet. They'll pit. Some have pit as we're seeing them right here. Not lead lap, but leader type cars. Eight cars out. And uh, let's come around here on the inside, get Labani. And we'll be pitting under caution. We'll see you after the caution. Interesting that Robbie Gordon decided not to pit. He's going to scooch you that way, scooch in this way, and bye. Bye. Just in this part of the race, as we drive away from the cars behind us, I, well, I wonder how many cars, like Robbie Gordon did not pit. I only had two left in the tank, which means he's got to be pitting like in the next lap or so, unless he pit before we pit, which I don't think happened. So I'm not sure, not sure what the plan was for Robbie to try to be back on the lead lap or something. I don't know. Oh, he must have picked because he's a lap down. That makes sense. Never mind. Oh, we just got, <laughs> we just drove way down easily into that corner. Not much to talk about here, and I, I'm sorry for that. There's just... Here we are. Running the race like we want to have it run. We came from the back to the front. Um, the dislike king came back. I hate it. It's very frustrating to see somebody hit the thumbs down on my videos. If you don't like them, just don't watch me. Like... Seriously, I'm trying to build something here. There's a lot of people that do like these videos. Makes it very frustrating to put multiple hours into the effort, into content, to have one person ruin it for me. Sucks if I was a big YouTuber. If I had, you know, tens of thousands of subscribers, I wouldn't care as much. Simply because that's just part of it, but... Very frustrating. I appreciate you guys. Uh, it was when I brought that up in the other video, and I'm not going to bring it up again after this, but when I brought it up in the other video, a number of you took the time to hit that like button to try to counter. And I know you guys don't see the dislikes because YouTube took away people's ability to see the dislike, except for they didn't take it away from the creator. So anybody who has done video creation, you see that little thumbs down, and it, it sucks. It sucks that somebody has that kind of control over the outcome of your visibility on your channel to everybody so anyway ignore that and uh just keep pushing out videos and keep growing this community so the more and more subscribers i do have the less and less of an effect that that one person has on ruining my videos from uh showing up in the searches when people are looking for fun nascar content I've added another person to my NASCAR Heat 5 series, another real person. We'll be going over all the real subscribers and drivers that are in the league when we do publish that. When we do the first series uh, video for that, we'll go over that real quick. Take a look at their trucks. And then do the, uh, of course, do the race. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be pretty exciting. The closer it gets, I know I started talking about it a long, long time ago. So the, it's pretty cool to be in a position now that we're in. We're we're looking like we might be uh, getting there pretty quick here, guys. This is. I think we have like ten or twelve videos left to record as of recording this one. So we're we're definitely getting there. We're a couple couple weeks away got some time off coming up where I plan on shoring up everything with that NASCAR Heat 5 series. Make sure it's completely ready for the when I start doing those recordings. 
And uh, hopefully I'd actually like to finish these recordings well before they all obviously are all published so I can work out any kinks that I have in the NASCAR Heat 5 series before I start to publish those videos. But I'm very, very, very excited about that. I will remind you again, much like I do to anybody else who's watching these videos, pretty much every video that I bring it up, it is free. Discord link in the description. Hit that. Hit that link. Join. And uh, put a message out there that you'd like to be a part of the NASCAR Heat 5 series. It's free. And in there, you'll see pictures of the trucks I've already done. You'll see that it, it looks just like all the other trucks in the game. I, it's... I put the trucks in there. I put silhouetted uh, pictures of the drivers. I put the numbers, the names, everything is in there. So it's it's completely legitimately modded. If you want to be a part of it, you want to see your truck out on the track racing around against me as an AI character, join that Discord and let me know. Got a couple weeks left. I've got some time to do it. I'd love to see uh, probably five or more drivers five more drivers in there than we currently have and uh, I think then once I sh point out the drivers that are there get you all acquainted with uh, each other it's gonna just continue to immerse everybody into that series and hopefully when we get into the Xfinity series and the in the cup series we'll have more drivers that'll join at that point as well and uh Hopefully it'll be something that attracts more people and it's something that people desire to see because that, that series is probably going to last for quite a while. Oh, we have less than 100 laps left. We got 15 left in the tank, so I actually did manage to talk a bit, which is good. We're going to go ahead and speed it up again. We'll be back with you with about 80 or so to go when we are pitting again. We got two cars involved in it. I think maybe one of them was coming off of pit road. So I'm not really sure what that was all about. However, got only five left in the tank, so we'll be pitting again under caution. It's been all the fortune for us today with that. I assume everyone else will pit as well. We'll be back with you after yet another caution. Well, we pit, and as you can tell, there's a number of people out here that didn't pit, and they are, are obviously, their goal is to get their lap back. This thing I can do is actually come off the gas here. It's not about these guys. It's about getting to the inside. 
Didn't work out for me, but oh come on, man. I had goals. Didn't work out. Maybe I can do it now. Oh, we got a bad run off of three or off of four. Uh, a lot of the cars that are now not quite a lap down didn't pit. So a number of the cars on the left side that are basically on the tail end of the lead lap did pit. Still there. So that part kind of sucks, but we'll see what, how it all goes. I got a... There we go. Still there. That worked out. I didn't... I was off the gas the whole Still time, there. so it wasn't like I was pile driving into the side of... Was that Bobby Hamilton? It just kind of rubbed on him. He smoked him a little bit. I don't know what his deal was, but... My whole goal here is... All clear. To get through the pack before these cars pit. Oh! Car low. Well, that's going to go poorly for me. He, I had to slam on the brakes to avoid Atwood. See if we can kind of make a move here. Yes, All we clear. can. Big Clear run. Although it was only for two, Go not positions. Clear. We're in front of everybody, but kind of putting all these people a lap down again is what we're doing. Clear high. Clear low. Car low. All clear. I couldn't get to the inside, and I need to be on the inside. Ryan Newman just living on the inside. Holy crap. Stay high. Still there. We're not doing this. I was like, well, I don't know what his deal was. He was sliding right away for a while. That was weird. There's a wreck in turn two. It's fine. The wreck was just running into a wall. Oh, looks like we got... Is that Matt Kenseth? Looked like he just went off onto pit road. That's surprising. Obviously, don't mind my uh, not talking. Clearly, I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> but seriously, we're trying. You're all clear. Trying all to get clear. up in front of Ricky Rudd before caution comes back out. That's that's the goal. The ultimate goal. We got the Gordons next to each other. All clear. There we go. Oh, we got through that whole big pack, which was pretty good. Only a couple of pieces of contact. Not much going on there. Looks like Rudd's about to pit. pit. That's a big deal for us. We'll put him to a second lap down with that. Looks like Mark Martin just pit as well. So even though we were in the back of all of that, and we got our way up around to the front of it before those cars started to pit, which is a big deal for us. For more than one reason. Uh, part of it has to do with the fact that if a caution comes out, all those guys are a lap down. Secondly, I think a number of these cars are going to have to pit, which is great. I'll just be watching them. There goes Jeff Gordon behind us. He just pit. Should be putting Rudd and Martin. Yep, there they go. Two laps down. So now we only have two cars that are just a lap down behind us. That's crazy. I didn't realize that. So far, so good, folks. Just waiting to see when Stewart... I thought Gordon did pit. Yeah, he did. So I'm just waiting for Tony Stewart to pit. And as soon as he pits, we are just absolutely dominating this race. Ooh, I, I went way too far into that corner. I had to come off it a bit too much. Sterling Marlin leading the pack of cars that are two lefts down. Tony Stewart, the only car just one lap down. And as far as the standings go, Tony Stewart being in second place does affect us as we are trying to uh, 
obviously put him down as many points as possible and him getting second place is going to give us like a five maybe with leading the most laps at 10 points advantage for this whole race which you know it's fine but I certainly would love it if he were to drop back farther Oh, we can see the back of the pack up in front of us. I'm pretty sure all those triple-digit cars have already pit since uh, the restart. They were all in front of us trying to stay on the lead lap. And once we passed them all, it was just a matter of time before they had to pit again. And we would pass them all and put them at least three laps down, I think. Potentially even four at this point. So we'll see. we'll see at the end of the race where a majority of the cars ended up. And the caution flies again. We have 15 in the tank. We are actually overheating, and I'm going to pit and take some of the uh, tape off the grill. I did not know that we were overheating the car at all. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll pit. We'll take some tape off the front end, and we'll be back after this caution. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Robbie Bravo. Gordon and Dale Jarrett brought out the caution. All cars are Clear two up. laps down. And we are driving away. Jeff Burton, Bobby Labonte, Elliot Sadler, Kenny Schrader are going to hold back a number of cars. Looks like there was a big accident on this backstretch between uh, the two aforementioned drivers that brought out the caution. And we are having... You know, it's funny, our qualifying lap, horrible, started at the back after wrecking, getting the car fixed. And here we are with 60 to go. We've led 80, 83 laps now. Nope, 84 laps now of the 184. Um, well, I should say right now we're at 124 laps and we've led 84, so it took us right around 40 laps to get up to the lead, and now we've got everyone two laps down. We can pit under green with no problem worrying about anybody else. Here's the issue. At this point, there's 59 laps left. We got 20, 25 in the tank, and the big question comes up. Are we going to be able to do this in one stop, or is this going to be a two-stop situation? We would have to save five laps this run and five laps the next run. And that's also to say that not a single caution would come out between now and the end of the race because, I mean, you and I both know as soon as a caution comes out and we pit again, we only have to pit one more time and we're completely fine regardless. If we get through this run, no caution, and then we're getting towards the end of the next run, no caution, we can pit again full service. We've got two lap lead on everybody. It's no big deal. So we just need to run this bad boy out and... Uh, be in a great spot what I am going to do is I'm going to speed things up right now with 23 in the tank kind of give us an idea we didn't do a speed up between the last uh, the last run in this one so let's get out here let's go ahead speed it up and we'll be back with you when we are pitting and hopefully in an even better position than we already are in I thought I was in turn three and four. <laughs> now it's in turn one and two, so I let off the gas way too much, touched the apron, and it was over. And now we've got a challenge because I want everyone two laps down. I need to drive up through this whole pack again. 
we're gonna do it on uh, on the mic. We'll speed up when we're not in the middle of action when there's no cars around, but there's cars around now. And this is this is kind of fun. We've got uh, hot tires right now. Wow, I I can't even tell you how softly I tapped him. That was weird. Yeah, that uh, at one point I thought we might head it into the inside wall and end our race. That would have really sucked. But instead we got fortunate. We were able to recover, get back up on the track. And now the full goal is just to... Wow, they're all just... I mean, I can't... I, any other track, I tap them that, that much going into a corner even, and it's... It's nothing. That's weird. Still there. You're all clear. We'll say in NASCAR Heat 5, a lot more bumping and banging going on and, and a lot less cars running into the wall when you bump and bang into them. So that was weird. Still there. If I can drop it down here. Nope. I had to come way too far off. Stay high. Still there. Clear low. I'm going to be on the inside of Car high. Kurt here. Whoa! Car high. I don't know. See? He he got it corrected, though. But I can't believe... Wow, that was a heavy hit on the front. He was going way, way slower than I thought he would be going. I'm trying to see how bad it actually damaged. I'm going to say... Oh, it's only three. Wow. Wow. All clear. I have hit cars so much lighter than that before in my time, and I've absolutely destroyed the front end. That was incredible. Um, hitting this time around yeah, will, in there. fact, give us that what we were talking about, which is needing that one or only having to stop that one time. So that's good. We'll come off of this corner as hot as possible. See if we can get some of these cars All down. Clear. Can I get to... Um, nope. All right. Uh, we're going to pit, and we'll be back with you, knowing we only have to pit one more time, guaranteed. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. All right, here we go. Back at it. These guys are actually technically on the lead lap until I get around them, so that's a big deal. Mark Martin, I don't know why he got off the gas so much, but it wasn't a little scary. Still there. Oh, I really want to get around him. Really want to get around him. Not going to happen right here. Need to get down. Ensign, just stay down there with me, buddy. You're fine. Just stay down here. Oh, <laughs> you Clearly. smart, smart man, Sterling Marlin. You smart. Okay, I didn't touch him. I did not touch Sterling. Well, that time I did because that happened. Clear high. But I didn't touch him in the first place. I don't know why he lost it going into that corner. We were behind him the whole time. I didn't. Well, no, uh, nothing from the car. Oh, Stewart goes high. We're about to follow him. We're all right. So we're in Gordon, technically on the lead lap. If a caution were to come out right now, we'd be, uh, they'd be right behind me. After we had all these guys out, down two laps, my slide out and then the caution ensuing was not great. I don't know when they all have to pit. We're so off schedule from everyone else. All I know is we have to pit one more time. So does everyone else has to pit at least one more time. Oof. That wasn't good for me. That was a bad corner or a bad set of corners. We're all right. Got a big run here. Still there. Just, uh... Ward, get out of my way. Clear eye. If I can get on the inside of him right here and get a good run. Look at him. Yeah, move up. Still there. Car high. Whoa, 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 whoa. Had to get on the brakes. Had to get on the all brakes. Clear. Still got to the, but he's still all right. Car low. That wasn't what we wanted, though. We're all right. He's all right. Everyone's fine. Wasn't what I wanted, but it happened. It was an aggressive move. Again, let, lest me remind you, it's a video game against AI people. I, don't, I, I try not to run into them, but if I do, I, you know. All right. It's just how it is. 
Oh, speaking of, Burton pulls off to pit. We got a couple cars on pit road. I'm looking at pit road instead of finishing my corner. We got a lot of cars on pit road right now. Interesting. We could have a lot of cars two laps down again pretty quick here. How bad's the front end? I bet it's more than 3% now. That was a heavy hit we had on uh, Gordon. That was a heavy hit. If it's under 3%, yeah, it's at 9 now. I was going to say, if it's under 3%, I'd be shocked. See if I can get a good run on the outside. Still there. But also tight on him. I see him twitching. He wants to ride up the track, but I force him down, which is what gives us the runoff. It's a little nice little fun trick, trick there. I believe uh, that's called crowding, <laughs> which I don't mind doing to an AI driver. Might frustrate a... Uh, a real driver and he might decide to push me up the hill for doing it AI driver eh. oh speaking of there's Gordon Stay high. coming off the pit road as well he's two laps down now had to do his pit stop he's got one left we got even left in the race 34 rolling around here with Dale Earnhardt Jr if I can oh I plan on passing him at some point when I do he'll be two down so otherwise he'd be on the showing in second place right now so Ooh, had an itch on my leg Still there. ah ha ha beautiful all right Mag out here, no one around me. We're going to try to stay off the apron now. We got 19 in the tank. Let's speed it up until we take our last pit of the race.
Yeah, we'll pit this time around. Um, I really do believe we could bring it around two more times, but there's no there's no point in risking that. We'll pit this time around and just uh Ooh, we got a little sideways for a second there, but we're alright. Slow down. <laughs> we're okay. Hello. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow, that was horrible. Oh, it's actually a really big mess up. We are really far behind some of these cars. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm just, I'm panicking a little bit, but we're going to get it together right now. We're going to get it together, guys. They have to pit yet. Uh, my pit entry was just an absolute disaster. Thank goodness we had the lead we had. But uh, now we have to burn it out as hard as we can. Well, how many did I get in the tank? 23. Okay, we have plenty of gas in the tank. I tried to put 14. So I don't know why it did that extra, but whatever. We've got fresh tires and 10 laps, and hopefully to see Kenseth and Sadler and then pit in the next handful of laps or I'm in trouble. I mean, I can definitely catch Kenseth, but Sadler and them definitely have to pit. So those are the cars that were just one lap behind me. So that makes no sense. We are uh, not a lap down, so if a caution came out, it wouldn't be a big deal. We'd just drive up through them and get the win that way. Always something, though. It's never just uh, get that those positions. That's my fault completely, obviously. And then I panicked when I hit reverse and we didn't get far enough back and then I had to shift back into reverse to get back there and I'm gaining on Kenseth pretty easily here, so that's not a concern. Just waiting to see how long it is before Sadler and then with eight laps to go pit. Oh, well, Sadler must have just pit, judging by the uh, Labani or Labani pit. I don't know. About to find out when we come around. Looks like Kenseth and uh, Wood are about to potentially pit. Nope, Wood's just running on the inside. And Bonnie is now 24 seconds. 23, 22. Okay, so he's on pit road. Sadler's still not on pit road. Burton is the other one. Those two, those two have to pit yet, though. That's not a. Even if it's just a quick stop, they they have to pit. And I will burn the wheels off this car to try to get to them, that's for sure. Oh, looks like they both pit. All right. That was a little nerve-wracking at the end there, but we got it. We got back to the lead. Here comes Kenseth. We're going to put him a lap down. That was scary, though, wasn't it? I almost, I almost lost that one for the team. That was all on me. I thought for sure when we hit that post, too, it was going to blow our engine. But it didn't. We got lucky there, and we've got five laps left to go. And a seven-second lead on Tony Stewart. All these cars would have been at least one lap down without us messing up. Turned out we needed that extra distance so we didn't mess up or so we didn't lose it it's like we got another taker for pit road is that gordon yeah jeff gordon getting onto pit road for a little stop and go to finish out the race just didn't have enough gas in it to get around he's not gonna have the best finish tony stewart though unfortunately being in the spot he's in unless for some reason he has to pit in the next four laps he's gonna walk away with another second place finish which for us sucks because, again, I'm pretty sure it's going to give us clear. just 10 points more than he will get for the race. And I really wish... Really, really wish that that wasn't the case. I'm kind of watching that relative to see if we get to see Stewart coming... Uh, or ending up pitting as well and then Sadler and Marlin and them going in front of him 
I don't think that's happening though. Two laps left in this one. Looks like Stewart will be able to remain out for the race. And I'm going to go ahead and not drive it that close to the apron. I have absolutely no reason to drive it that close to the apron again. I'm not sure why I did that again. It seems to be a problem with me throughout my whole career. But uh, we're in definitely a good position here. One to go. A seven-second lead over second place. Last lap. Just going to run this one around. Got a row of cars in front of us, but nothing is going to get in our way from us pulling this car into victory lane in just a few seconds here after a very interesting race starting in last and then almost blowing it on our last pit stop. But we'll come away with the victory. The fastest lap of the race and leading the most laps in this race as we had six cautions for 24 laps. We come away with a victory in an hour and 53 minutes. And there it is. Just like I said, we get 10 more points in Stewart as he got second place. Jeff Burton in third. Elliot Sadler fourth. Good finish for him in the 21 team and Sterling Marlin in fifth. Tony Savoy already in first place in the standings, wide in the margin between first and second with a victory at Darlington. Congratulations to the 151 Toyota Camry team. Fantastic job overall, including through the adversity that I made for us in two different situations. 13 top fives, 11 victories, and we are on our way, folks. We have entered the month of September where we have five races to go starting at night at Richmond International Raceway. But folks, that'll be in the next episode. I do want to take a moment out to say thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And until next time, and of course, as always, you take care.